but he finds more success or seems to want to play a lane with Ooh. floor range later on. Talking about range later on and talking about scaling. From looking at these lanes, it feels like MMD should be able to push into expect early on relatively well. Maybe we'll be pushed in potentially by perks and Trick is setting up on this pushing lane down bottom. The tongue lash goes wide though. Betty's able to sidestep. Summoner heals already used. Flashes thrown down. Exhaust traded as well. Get the gobble if you can. Modi gets one. That's not gonna be enough for a kill just yet. Spits out sword off for first blood to G2. That's definitely going to help out. Look at this, MMD, there's no skull yet. Follow that rage meter. Pocket Pistol comes backwards and Trick gets a kill. I was actually really scared that the smoke screen was going to trigger Skarl. <laughs> every, every damage instance gives you something, so you want to hit him with like big spells. And that makes that gank so great, you know. Sometimes just a little bit of pressure can tiptoe the matchups in the other way. But here's Trick in the bot lane again. No summoners. All right, going to dash forward. Where's the dash? Shadow dash from Expect is going to catch Sword on. Betty's the target as well. Expect's on the board. Sven gets another. This is so well done by G2. Forcing out summoners bot. Killing top. They can shen all down because they have the experience advantage in that matchup too. And G2 just looks like they're firing on all cylinders. They've been so coordinated. And I think especially when you are actually just letting your opponent push you in like that, you don't necessarily need the wards out on the map. As long as you can defend the control wards, that's definitely true here. But that could be a breaking point if they make one mistake. Suddenly, the lack of side zone may punish G2 Esports. I'm looking at those control wards. Prepper, there's three on the bottom quadrant. It's nice. Asa is uh, going to get counter ganked now by Trick. Eh, counter is a strong word. Actually, it is a counter gank. Trick goes in, into the line. Collateral damage gets fired. Here comes Expect. He's got Maple. Trick survives and takes Castle with him. Where did Expect come from? Nobody expected him. Suddenly, like, he just dashes in. Rams a dagger through the opponent opposition and he just wins out that fight here. Another great roam from Expect. And Maple's smart enough to know this, so he's never gonna combat perks. But what that means is perks will push up the wave, disappear, and start influencing these side lanes. The only thing that can go wrong is right here if Expect dies. Alright, Expect's gonna get pulled back by the bear trap. Skull is triggered. Caster's got the dragon's rage and actually Expect is putting Mithy. a lot of damage down. Mithy's brought perks. That's one already with the attack and the dissonance. Shockwave not even gonna get needed. There's the hula hoop sombrero. Perks doesn't mean it still gets a double kill with the attack. I mean, that one was looking a little bit desperate from Flash Wolves. That is a very healthy Shen who is ahead. You cannot burst this guy down like that. Will potentially be the heaviest handed defeat of MSI 2017. Perks and Expect gonna try to take this inner turret down in the top lane. MMD has already popped off Skarl. This shockwave there for Perks. Second time this Don't game. It. Trick in a 1v3 almost takes down Betty. Sonic Wave connects, but Kasa does not follow the Lee Syndrome. Support from Perks coming around, and Stand United still not triggered. And in a similar fashion where you need to attack the global if you're playing versus Shen, you need to attack the engage if you're playing versus the Skarl. Because otherwise, there's, there's nothing Flashos can do. They can't flank engage with Zyra because she's a disengaged champion. This is why Kars is going a really large path around the bottom side. Flash was trying to get something. Ah, oh, look at Trick. He's already gone in. Hemo plate comes down. Strangle Thorns is coming up. Sand United has bought enough time, and now Perks has arrived. Come on, protect! Keeps Trick alive! Oh, the Not perfect game is gone! The perfect game is ruined! Corsa sends his god fist into Trick's face. Now Corsa's running away with his life. Expect to oh, misses the taunt because Corsa sidesteps. Still beautiful to behold on that champion. Yeah, already sitting on two items here. He can unleash and just kill oh. right there. If he just pressed R, it was enough. Perks is now being shadowed by Mithy, so he should be able to survive. G2 Esports looking for their fifth consecutive turret this game. You can shove those lanes so, so fast as expect here. And he has the Stand United to join, so G2 are straight onto the Baron. And what a statement here from G2. Two wins, three losses. This will be their third win of the tournament. Oh. Sword on is just blown up where he stands. Perks and Expect trying to run down past. Expect's going to be able to solo him out. Spurs Refuge by some time. Baron secured actually by Mithy. Trick did get the smite down once again. It's a retreat! Not a charge, because MFD's running for his life. Only the third death, that's what G2 are looking for. Skarl is going to avoid the shadow dash as Maple is being burned alive in his sanguine pool. Dominating! Sven gets another one to the MD. And Betty watches his team fall around him. Bicycles are just getting decimated here. This has got to be one of the cleanest games, if not the cleanest game of the tournament here from G2. And what a way to start the second round of games. Yeah, in a phenomenal fashion, G2 Esports bounce back. They tie their score back to 3-3, three and three, and their hopes of reclaiming that number one seat for Europe are still alive. The largest gold lead at 15 minutes. The largest gold lead at 20 minutes. You know, we talk about the, the benefits of G2 bouncing back. 
Uh, how on earth do Flash Wolves again bounce back from another 0 2 day? The G2 also attacked their core, right? Like we talked about Karsa, Maple, Sora. Now the final engage comes in, but it's gonna be tricky. It's indeed. MMD gets a bear trap on the road, but look at Sven. He's already on a killing spree. Taken down Karsa. Flash Wolves are retreating. The charge had no damage behind it. Expect kills the weeds of Sword Art. And now Maple's cut off from the rest of his team, gets devoured by Mithy and spit out to expect. Yeah, Carsa was still jungling while Sword was attacked in the bot lane. Maple was attacked in picks and bans, and by the time Carsa tried to fight back, it was simply too late. And with only a single kill, G2 Esports are gonna take it. G2 Esports with the most dominating victory of the MSI 2017 group stage. Take down Flash Wolves to go 3-3. Three